When I wrote The Bone Collector, I left open a plot point that I uh, knew someday I would address. And what I decided to do was um, create someone who mimicked The Bone Collector in the same sense that the, the Bone Collector was obsessed with bones, but I created a character who was obsessed with skin. And in um, The Shadow of the Collector, we now have a character who tattoos his victims with secret messages. So they, it all comes together. After 17 years, the cycle is complete. Uh, Lincoln Rhyme works for me, and he is my employee, and he does what I tell him to do. Oh, there have been many, many movies that have inspired my books. Um, I love the old uh, Dashiell Hammett films, uh, the Thin Man series, the Maltese Falcon. I love um, Farewell, My Lovely, the Raymond Chandler. I love um, The Day of the Jackal uh, by Frederick Forsyth. Uh, the Godfather uh, was a big influence. Uh, the George Stevens film Shane, the Western, was a big influence on mine. Um, I always look for a very specific uh, type of, um, I would call it an icon, to represent the evil in all of my books. Uh, it might be the broken window, La Finestra Rota, uh, or in this case, there's a centipede that uh, to me is a very creepy kind of insect. It's insidious. And I thought, well, my job is to scare people, so what's better than a creepy insect that's poisonous? One of the reasons I love New York is that there are just so many creepy places there. Um, probably the creepiest place is where I have been once, and it is the opening scene in The Shadow of the Collector, and that is the uh, labyrinth of tunnels underneath Soho, uh, tunnels that were built in the uh, 1800s to transport goods. And uh, as I know, it's a good place to kill somebody and hide the body. <laughs>